Right, ladies and gentlemen, moving on once again, our fourth bout this evening. Would you welcome into the red corner, Adam Libowicus. <laughs> the blue corner, Tomek Zadonowski. Featherweight amateur MMA over three, three minute rounds of action. And in the red corner, he weighed in at 150 pounds. He represents KO Next Generation, Adam Liberwickix. And in the blue corner, he weighed in at 144 pounds. He represents the Perron Gym. Tomek Zanolowski! Your referee, Sam Amidi. Featherweight Mixed Martial Arts here in the Lion Fighting Championship out of the red corner from KO Next Generation Adam. Liebowickis, Tomek Znadowski from Perun Gym. Tomek with a massive jab to the right cross. The level change from the KO fighter to a back take. Dean, that was absolutely manic. Adam shooting in for that double, looking for the takedown here, looking to reap a leg, puts in a knee. So now Zanowski very active from the bottom, scrambles excellent, able to get up his feet, lands a brutal leg kick from the rear. And a grin from Znadowski. You could see him absolutely lining up the distance, almost as if he knew something that his opponent didn't. Very snappy there on those entries. I love that fast jab. And the number two is almost a throwaway punch. He doesn't even want the cross to hit. It's the leg kick that's the money. Znadowski looking to take the spring out of the step of Adam to eliminate those shots. And you see the will on the left leg already. Boom! Wow. And in for the power double to the slam. <laughs> wow. Surprise. That was a surprise indeed. Zinanowski looking to strike and going below. That's what MMA is about, Chris. Making your opponent think something else and then capitalize on that. Now, Zinanowski is on the top, looking to secure this side control position, perhaps looking to go to north-south. He might cinch up a Kimura here from the top because he's trying to isolate the left arm. Great guard recovery, though, from Liebowickis. It was interesting to see Liebowickis go for the ground first. 
But it was Tomac who seemed to have the last laugh so far in that department. Didanowski aware that he is able to rack up the points, didn't engage too much on the ground, got the takedown. Leave a wickets now, playing the catch-up game. It's exactly where you want to be. You want to be up on the scorecards, dictating the pace with your opponent coming for you. And a fastball right hand to a stiff jab. Look at these two trade right here in the pocket. Big, big, big shots. And more importantly, Dean, both fighters throwing everything to finish. Danowski, very cerebral in his approach. He, he utilizes that distance very well. You see him pump that jab out, blam, with a leg kick, and he gets out of danger from the counter right hand, a liver workers. And it's those entrances and exits, Dean, when you have control of the distance that can sometimes be the difference in a firefight. In MMA especially, distance dictates the pace. And you can see here, the athletes clinching up. Danowski looking to break that clinch in this instance. And you can feel the snap of those strikes. You can hear the hop, 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 hop. I mean, he's really, Dean, throwing every single ounce into those strikes. That body shot hurt him there. You see, Lidanowski wins. And he went, and now we see Lidanowski on top. He made Lieberwickes wince with that body shot. And when he smelt blood, he's doing the right thing on the ground. He sees he's got that overhook of the right arm of his opponent on the bottom, blocking the hip on the near side as the bell runs out, but very good control by Zinanowski. Touch of gloves and we're underway second round. Now let's see if Liverwickes can mix up his shots, hide his shots, the wrestling shots underneath the punches and kicks, a little bit low there. Possible offsides play, gonna get a quick check here from the ref. Certainly unintentional, Liverwickes acknowledges that. The coaching there in the corner from KO also highlighting to him, hey, don't sweat it. It's all good in the hood. And we continue here. Big shot again from Tomac. I mean, that right sometimes comes up very short on purpose. And then other times he commits very hard. You see, Zidanowski is able to keep his hips squared. You see, he's squatting his legs slightly. That gives him the ability to throw in power and defend these shots. You see, he uses his hips. He forced his hips up there, looking to pummel him for the underhooks, using the whizzer on his right side, pummeling with the left. Excellent wrestling for MMA action from Zidanowski, just nullifying the takedown of Liverwickes. And utilizing that control to try and pivot his opponent there in the pummel. Stiff jab again from Tomek. Man, Tomek Zinadowski. Had another big right cross. The mouthpiece flies out from Libowickis. And we're going to get a moment here to put that back in. Crazy, that, absolutely crazy. Zinanowski's mouthpiece flew out. Oh, it was his actually? Yeah, and I thought it was. actually said, oh, his mouthpiece came out. So, such sport and sportsmanlike conduct in a fight, Chris, is just amazing to watch. And it's always apparent on the LFC shows. You just bring in such skills. You see Zinanowski's MMA skills and his striking skills and his small and brawl skills. The key in this fight. The boy is doing a good job there, moving the head in the pocket, unable to get the single leg. Tomac throttling the legs away for the pass, sitting here in side control and going to work. Lieberwick is looking for the armbar. He's got the, the, uh, the hand trapped here. Zinanowski responded by backing out of that position. Lieberwick is known for his very his active guard off his back, Chris, but with someone as savvy as Zinanowski, as we see here, the takedown, but the going for the guillotine, but his head popped out. Controlling with the overhook there is Lieberwick is off his back, but Tomac wants nothing to do with it. Zidanowski towering over the top of his opponent. You'll see this a lot in Muay Thai. You often you ground an opponent, get a sweep, get a kick, and you'll tower over it. It's for the judges, to show for the judges to say, look, I'm controlling this fight. I'm dictating the pace here. Give me more points. And the psychological warfare on tap there for Tomac. Stiff jab to a right again. And the level change turns the corner with the double leg. And that time, it looks to me like he wants to set up a pass. You can see him trying to operate there. The most efficient way, really, team. Take out to a pass. But a great job from Libowickis to be able to catch him in that scramble and retain what looks to be half guard. Maybe looking for a sweep here. If he can go in underneath and play deep half, but 
Very risky, 10 seconds on the clock. Very risky, like you said, in MMA, because you have to use your arm to unhook the leg. Zelenowski looked like he was going for an arm bar there, but I love the way he's able just to stay on top. Great scrambles from both men. I mean, what skill. Round three of a Schedule Three here in the Lion Fighting Championship. Chris Hookstra live worldwide here from the packed out Rochester Casino Rooms just outside London on a beautiful Sunday here in the United Kingdom. We have another incredible lineup of mixed martial arts. The Wickers did a great thing. They went for that single leg, Chris, and more importantly, circled the angle. And he nearly got the back of Zidanowski, but Zidanowski, such a savvy practitioner in the anti-grappling realm, he's able to turn his back, utilize underhooks, and end up on top. And it's funny because most of this fight has been submission defense combined with the ground and pound. But we've also seen a few great double legs from him at the right time. Little Wickers frantically looking for that engagement of the guard. Zidanowski happy to stand off on top. And Libowickis there flopping to his back a couple of times to try and lure his opponent in. Or more importantly, stand up to safe territory. And there we go. Very well done for Libowickis. It takes patience sometimes not to rush that position. Libowickis now needs to throw punches in bunches and couple them with decisive. Don't put his head down just like that. He needs to really think about putting those big punches in to make Zidanowski think he's stri it's a striking game, then shoot underneath for that takedown. At the moment, he's telegraphing them too much, Chris. Zidanowski, though, also seems a little bit more unpredictable, though. His movement in and out, his windmilling of the punches, somewhat deceptive. His hips are key in this fight. He keeps them back, keeps that squatted stance. He's able to thrust his hips forward to initiate the sprawl. And if you look at the way these guys both make weight, Dean, I mean, Libowickis is probably bigger for this weight class. He's probably a little bit more physical at 145 pounds. And that, you know, just shows the technique and the importance of that when you assess Tomek's top control. That's the key. Key is the leverage. He's using his hips, his whole body, to use that sprawl, then unhooks to elevate himself on top. And right now you see he's keeping nice and close, using his hips, using downward pressure to keep Libowickis from moving on the ground. He's blocking the hip there. You see the left arm of Zidanowski. Ooh, nice invert, though, from Libowickis to escape against the wire. Zidowski says, come back up into my lair. Come up to the upright, let's play. Time running here. <laughs> Little Wickers needs to go for broke here, needs to look for the knockout. See him showing that jab, looking to line up the right. Zidanowski happy to be on the outside, utilizing leg kicks. That would be a good time to initiate a takedown, Chris Wynn. Zidanowski throws up that low leg kick to catch that leg, turn it into a, perhaps a single leg or even to a high, High crotch. Liverworkers now too tentative on the outside. Zidanowski done a great job of making Liverworkers respect the power. So now he's hanging back. You see the work there on the left leg, and Zidanowski shoots him from the outside, gets the takedown, able just to dictate the pace and control this fight perfectly. So impressed with him. I mean, Adam Liverworkers went and threw everything but the kitchen sink at Tomek. Tomek kept moving, used his power, his technique. And although Libowickis is absolutely, you know, a well-rounded fighter, Dean, he had skills in every single category. It seemed to me throughout that contest, though, Snedowski just seemed one step ahead at most of those critical points. Ladies and gentlemen, please, let's hear it for both men in the cage after three hard-fought rounds. But we do have a unanimous decision. Our judges in favor of the blue corner, Tomek Zelenovsky!